And happy Tuesday. Happy Pink Huddle Night. Hey Good to see everybody. <clears throat> it's wonderful. We got everybody from Delaware to let's see, where's where's uh where's Dee Dee live? Are you in Georgia or something? She lives in South Carolina. Carolina. South Carolina? Yep. Okay. And Louisville and Indiana. So good to see everybody. I see you can watch and see if we have a few more people coming in. Um, raise your hand or give us some kind of signal that you watched the video that we posted about Jen Bessicker's Facebook parties. Betty did. Very good. Kathy, have you gotten to watch it yet? Nope. Okay. Oh, there's Diane Vaughn. Let's get her in here. Somebody's got a thumbs up. I know she watched it because she commented on it today. Very cool. There's Diane, the volleyball granny. <laughs> hey, Diane. Hey. Diane, How are you guys? we're good. Did you get a chance to watch the video that we posted last week by chance? I watched part of it. Okay. Not all watched of it. Part of it. I mean, it's over an hour long. I mean, but... I watched it um, finally today, and these are all my notes. <laughs> so it was pretty awesome. So I think, um, Teresa, why don't we give just a quick little summary of it, and then anybody that will we'll say what our takeaways are. We want everybody that watched to get their takeaway. And then if you didn't get to watch it or finish it, I think you'll definitely want to do that. It's, it's, it was a very simplistic way and a new thought on how to do um, virtual parties. So, yeah, you know, I got the first time I've watched it twice. The first time I just watched it through, no notes, just just trying to absorb. And I have to admit, the very first time I watched it, it was kind of like a, a little bit like, oh my gosh, there's a lot, there's a lot involved. But then the second time when I sat down and watched it and actually took notes, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so doable. And, you know, Sonia said today, as she commented on our group page, that one of the things she liked about it was that it was simplistic. And it really is, out of all that I've watched over the last year, different people, different takes, different way of doing this, I particularly love that she does Facebook Live parties, where I think that's less threatening and less intimidating. And, you know, she's got a She's got apparently a millennial daughter that she asked for her advice. And she said, you know, I will watch people's Facebook live parties where I will not get on a Zoom party because I don't really want to show my face or I don't want my still picture there. I just want to be able to stalk it and watch it and comment on it if I choose to. And I thought, you know, that's so true. So I really like that. I thought it was easier then maybe a Zoom party, certainly less intimidating for most consultants than to set up a Zoom and worry about all this stuff. And, you know, there's no screen sharing and going through all of that stuff. If she wants to show a part of the lookbook, she holds up the lookbook and she shows that page, you know, and she holds up a product. So I, that part really, that just kind of was a whole new thought process for me is just to do Facebook Live. She makes it very simple. She, I, I like the way she conducts the party. I mean, it's a 30 to 40 minute max party. And basically she does 3D and charcoal mask. And that's almost it. But she talks about the rest of the product. She talks about some of her favorites. You know, she goes through some things while the mask is drying. She has uh, some really good games. And, you know, after I watched it through the second time, and I really encourage everybody to do it. If you've watched it once, go through it again and actually take some notes if you haven't already done that. This is so doable. I am super excited about it. And uh, the, her accolades in the last six months since August, when she really kicked this in, and I think she said in August she just did two parties, but from August through de uh, December, she sold $75,000 retail. Her customer grade, uh, base grew over 400 people. She added to her customer base and she added 19 qualified new team members. Hello. Hello. Is this something we want to try? I'm thinking we do. So Susan, what were your thoughts? Well, she was saying that, you know, she was really in, when COVID kicked in, she's like, I don't know how to do a business without being in front of people. This is what we do. This is what Mary Kay taught us. And so she, like so many of us, was going, okay, she, she went to her husband, she goes, what do I even do? And he says, basically, what would you do if you know, knew what to do? 
<laughs> do you ever, well, if you knew what to do, what would you do? And she's like, well, I hold parties. And he said, so you just need to find a creative way to still do that. And our very first party canceled. Um, the second one ended up that one of the girls wanted to um, do the do the business so she used it as her debut party she sold four hundred dollars but she's like okay well now what my two parties that i had booked only one held so her third party is what she refers to as her power of one party because that party was over eighteen hundred dollars with four new bookings and from those four bookings the total sales were $7,922 with 12 new bookings. I mean, wrap your brain around that for a minute. First of all, an $1,800 party, I've never had that in 33 years, okay? No. But, and four parties totaled 7,922 and all these bookings. So Teresa is right. She held 74 Facebook Live parties from August to December. August, November, August, September, October, November, in five months, held 74 Facebook lives. She called them lives. I had 74 lives. And then she's right, um, $75,000 retail. So if you do the math on that, it's basically a $1,000 party. Every time she did it, it was $1,000. So it was a huge, like, you know, we just don't even know the capabilities of what we can do um, or the blessings, the hidden blessings of COVID, okay? <laughs> Gosh, I hope something good comes out of this last year. And apparently, there are people that are just finding a way, making a way. Um, Teresa's right. She was talking about there's a much higher turnout when, the, when you're working virtually without being seen. So the Facebook Lives, a lot more people would show up. She says, you have such a bigger platform with virtual. Nobody can really say they don't know anybody because the world is able to join in on this. Anyone, anywhere um, can be part of the Facebook Live. So she talks about, you know, they see me, but I don't see them. Um, so it's just the whole, the whole video, she's very, speaks very clearly. It's easy to understand how she does, how she sets up a private Facebook group. It's not an event. She tells you exactly how she does it in order. She sets up the event. She, the hostess is the first person she invites and she sends her a private message. Great news, your Facebook party group is up. I invited you to it, but here's the link to click and join. Now the fun begins. You can invite all your family and friends. And what I found is that you'll personally text or a private message them um, and then let them know you're having this fun Facebook party and they'll receive a pampering package. This is the link to click. They'll join. And so just a lot of really good things told exactly what the message, how often she messages the group. So, you know, she started very slowly. She didn't suddenly have 75 parties going, but I think it made me think I could do that. I could do the very first one where I'm the hostess, you know, and say, I've got this Facebook group. We're going to have a spa party on this date. I've invited you to join private message them all. What's your skin type? Do I have your address? And then the rest is, is her engaging people in it and keeping them excited. So another thing that I like is that, and I'd have to get over myself just a little bit, but she just gets on there and does her face in front of them. I mean, it's, she's not walking anybody through anything. She's actually going in there bare face. She said she most of the time she might have her eyes on, but she even takes her eye makeup off at the beginning. So I'm she is, doing that. She <laughs> she's just not, not doing that. Anyway, but I really did like that idea that she's confident and comfortable enough that, um, sorry, I've got the dogs bark, barking in the background. They don't like it when I get too noisy. But I like that, uh, that she just does it. And people are just watching her go through the steps. And then she said she just really talks from the heart about the skincare. And if somebody wants more information about, you know, details, ingredients, things like that about either 
um, the 3D or any other product that she might mention, she just shoots them the fact sheet from in touch into uh, their Facebook um, private message. So she uses private messaging a lot. Another thing that she does throughout the process before, oh, yep, that's there you go. That's all you need. You just need a bow for your hand. Uh, and she, that, yep, that's real so approachable, cute. like, hi, you know, good to see you guys. Yep. It just it, it just gets right into it. And she she just doesn't make it difficult. And and touching base with people, she does some engagement posts so that she again, you gotta develop those relationships, even though they're not the same relationships as we're used to developing, you've got to develop Facebook relationships so that when they're engaged with you and they're commenting on some of your early engagement posts to get them excited and get them, you know, revved up about the spa party on, you know, April the 8th, then when they're commenting, they're going to be more engaged with her and they're more apt to see information in their newsfeed and get notifications when she goes live. So, but she uses her hostess a lot too. And I think that's really great because her hostess gets a lot of free product. But you can imagine these parties that are, you know, we have are well attended and, you know, she's giving away a lot of free products and she's doing the typical company 10, 15 to 20% hostess credit, but she also gives $25 for each booking that night. And she really talks through the fact that most of the people that book from her are not only booking to get free product, but they're really booking to help the hostess get another $25. And I've found that to be true over the years. If I use that as a selling feature, when you schedule your party, Susan's going to get another $25 in free stuff they're excited about helping her. So it's it's a way that we like to help. So I, I like her hostess plan. I like the simplicity. I like the fact that she just gets real. She spends just quickly goes through the skincare that while the charcoal mask is drying, she talks about other products and then she takes it off, puts moisturizer on, and then she closes with three really cool questions and a either what they call a tic-tac-toe board or a hashtag sheet. Susan, you want to tell them about that? Yeah. Um, and y'all, we're just touching on some of this stuff. You just have to watch. You have to be you have to be curious enough about how this works to watch the full video and pause it and take your notes. But yes, um, I just I want to touch on one thing. I love that she goes through it with them. And for example, when she has everybody, okay, everybody open up your packet and she has a little bowl of water and she does it and while they're washing their face, she's washing hers with the skin sonic brush. So that gives her an opportunity to talk about it and how there's as many, you know, about the butterflies wings and no, the bumblebees wings and how many revolutions. And it, it's just very clever how she does that and then rinses it off. And then they do the charcoal mask. And as Teresa said, she has certain products that she features because if we only talk about the products in the, in the little packet, that's all they're going to remember and all they're going to buy. But she gives them so many of her favorites, and it can be whatever you want. But I'll probably do what she does because why? Why change it? But this hashtag party board. Oh, um, it would throughout the party. If there's something that they really love, she tells them put this in one of the squares on your party board and your little tic tac toe. And you know when she's talking and the mask is drying and she's she's mentioning the hydrogel eye patches and telling about those. She goes, this would be a great thing to put on your hashtag sheet. So she's it's it's um what's the word I'm looking for the power of suggestion. You know she's talking about it and say oh you probably want to put this on your sheet something you 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 love or you'd love to get for half price maybe you know or even for free or for you know, free what, yeah exactly. And then she tells them that when we're finished, if your hashtag sheet is completely filled out and you shoot me a picture of it, there'll be a prize for you. So it, there's a lot of incentives on that. So when she closes her little, she says, you can either make your own special tic-tac-toe sheet and put it in, or if you forget and you want, because all that goes in her, all that goes into her sample packet is the time-wise 3D for their skin type a charcoal mask packet, and a lookbook. And I thought it was interesting. She said, you know, in this world of virtual everything, 
I actually miss having a catalog to flip through. And she said, so I make sure that they get a lookbook in their fun, in their um, little packet of their swag bag, rather, what she mails them, because it's just fun to flip through that. And they may get it a week or two before the party. So she wants them to have plenty of opportunity to kind of study the lookbook. But she reminds them, okay, when we get together, make sure you've got your samples, your lookbook, your little bowl of water, your washcloth and towel. Um, and so she says, if she, if you want, you can just have them flip the lookbook over and make their own tic-tac-toe board on the back with an MK, just write MK in the middle. And that's how she does that. And then there's three questions that she asks them at the end. One of them is, would you like to be my customer? And she says, you know, if you already have a Mary Kay chick, by all means, you'll want to support her. You can purchase tonight um, to help our hostess get some free product. But, you know, beyond tonight, you'll want to go to your consultant. She goes, but let me tell you the perks of being my customer. And one of them was I have a private Facebook group, a VIP group, um, where I post really great um, tips about makeup or you know, like we do in our lifestyle and beauty, beauty lounges, you know, fun things about being a chick, and diet tips and recipes and all kinds of everything. She goes, um, when you're my customer, you have a hundred percent guarantee from Mary Kay. Um, you get a special discount during your birthday month. Um, so she just kind of romances, you know, you'll get the quarterly beauty magazine at, at no cost, that type of thing. The second question she asks is, I want you to write free or me. And she says, free means this was fun. I want to have a party. And she says, uh, if you decide you want to have a party, you get a booking gift. And the booking gift is the little set of five deluxe mini lip glosses, which how perfect. Okay. That's their booking gift. And she says, just for saying yes. And Susie Hostess gets $25 in extra hostess credit just because you scheduled a party. So don't you think she deserves that? Comment right in the comment section if you think our hostess deserves some extra free credit. Isn't she awesome? She's so deserving. And she goes, people are commenting right and left. And so she says, when you schedule a party, not only we get the booking gift and our hostess gets 25 extra, you'll get 20% of your sales in free products from your party and $25 for every party booked. So you go, so if you're excited about that, write free and we'll get it scheduled. She goes, or you can write me, which means, no thanks, I'm not really a party girl. Just follow up with me so I can make a purchase. So free or me. Simple, I mean, it's no pressure. They, you can't even see them, so they shouldn't feel any threat. You know, it's not like you're sitting and you make an eye contact, look them in the right yeah, eye. Yeah, waiting for them to write, yeah. <laughs> write it, did you say it? And then number three, she says, I just wanna tell you why I'm so happy all the time. And that's where she does a very quick little, you know, about the fun, the, the freedom, flexibility, the faith and family, the travel, the free car, all of that. And she said, would you like some ad additional information about our opportunity? It may not be for you, but why not at least check it out? So yes, I'd love to hear more or no thanks. Okay, and then she'll say, okay, it's, it's 7.30. You have until eight o'clock to take a picture of your hashtag sheet and send it to me on private message or text. And um, thanks for joining us uh, on our live. You've made my night. I'm so glad, you know, look, so she'll look and, and she'll respond then. So like at 730, she signs off and tells them they have 30 minutes to text that to him. Oh, did you tell them also she does a little contest where they take a charcoal mask selfie? I just wrote myself a note to mention that. I love that. I thought that was really cute while they've got the mask on. She says, you know, grab a family member or your husband or somebody and make do a really clever charcoal mask selfie and send it to me. And I'm going to give a prize. My husband will vote because I, I don't have nothing to do with it. I'm going to let him vote on the best charcoal mask selfie. That's super cute and really fun. And again, gets them just engaged and that an opportunity to win another free prize. It's just very clever. When you'll watch this, you'll think everything is, is well thought out. Nothing is just random. Nothing is just like, oh, I think I'll do this. There's a purpose to it. It gets people engaged. It gets people um, to see the posts more regularly. You know, that whole algorithm stuff we know 
so little about on Facebook. <laughs> she says, you know, when people book, she posts about it. Thank you for, um, you know, I'm so excited. You've made my night. I'm glad you want to host. Um, you, would you prefer a weeknight or a Friday night? She sends in the dates and she immediately books them. She does weeknights or a Friday night and she doesn't work on the weekends. So that's how she does it. So she'll do a thank you picture in the group, lots of excitement. Anybody who books, she talks about them. Um, and then the fun thing about those charcoal mask pictures, she said, let's say uh, Nora's my hostess and she invites 10 people who, who have joined the group and said they're gonna be there. She goes, I don't think I've ever had all the people who say they're gonna be there be there. So she goes, if five are there, I'm ecstatic. She goes, but the fact that I'm posting those charcoal mask pictures and excitement about the booking and here's that, what I was telling you about this product and people that miss the party are like, oh, wait, I missed it. And then they watch the replay. And so it just works really, really well. Yeah, I like it. It's not intimidating. It's not threatening. People can come on, be quiet, make a comment, not make a comment. You know, they can just watch. I also, and I know that this is not a new thought, but it's just a bigger thought for me. I'm so used to working in my backyard, you know, developing the business around me because that's where my relationships are. But the backyard now, as Susan said earlier, is the entire United States. And so, and Mary Case made it so much easier even before COVID when they offered the um, CDS services to you know ship directly to our clients for us this just goes hand in hand with that so you can have customers everywhere you're not just limited to developing relationships here the world is your oyster for sure um and and i think that's just it just got more exciting how how can you expand your customer base and you know it's 30 minutes i mean think of and I don't want to go to the, you know, walk backwards up a hill through the snow, you know, six miles, that kind of stuff. But just think of what the parties were like, you know, 20 years ago, 10 years ago, even five years ago. And we were going to people's homes and we were packing everything up and taking it into their kitchen and they were cooking and cleaning and getting everything ready. And some people would show up and some people wouldn't show up. And then we get done and we get home and you know, the, my car was a mess. I didn't even mess with that till the next day. I didn't want to look at it again. It's so much simpler, you guys. We need to embrace this. All of us do. Because it, whether you're looking for Mary Kay to, to be your end-all, be-all, be your career, help you make the kind of money that you deserve to make, or whether it's just some extra shoe money, it's a good side gig for you there's money to be made and a lot of people are making money and it's easier now than ever. We just have to do it a few times, get used to it, set up the systems and then, and then go for it. So I, I am now super excited. I mean, there's no reason we can't do one of these a month. I wonder if we did one a month, if we, if we made that commitment that if, not one a month, one a week, made the commitment to do one Facebook live party a week for the month of April. I wonder where we'd be going in May because then I bet we'll be booking so many that we'll be maybe doing two a week or even three a week, but the choices are ours. Um, so it's up to us. I, I love it. I think this is the best one that I've seen the best outline, simplest, makes sense. And the fact that it's Facebook live really turned me on for sure. Who, who else has a comment or question after you watched it or something you really liked or something you weren't sure that you liked? Anybody? I think, um, can you hear me? Yes, can. Um, hey, the one thing, hi, I'm on my computer, so I can see the top of my head. Um, <laughs> but the one thing that I haven't watched a bunch of them, I'm so far behind. And when I saw this, I was like, it's so quick, it's so easy, it's so simple. I feel like she just, and she really did give you every single step. But the thing that, I thought was cool. Maybe it shouldn't be intimidating, but I just think it's cool that she was bold enough to do it. Like she said, she posted um, everybody that booked a party. She was like, hey, thank you for booking a party. And she left it open for a couple, I can't remember if it was a couple of days or a whole week, but she would literally go back and tag every single person who had not ordered. It was like, hey, the party's closing. Getting ready to close at midnight tonight. I mean, it's a nice way, but you know, it, it 
you kind of think sometimes I don't want to be too pushy. I don't want to be a salesperson, but she was, you know, providing the service. Hey, I'm letting you know the party's getting ready to close. Do you still want to book? Do you want to help out your consultant? You know, being nice about it, but she literally would tag them in public to say, hey, you have yeah, a place I to order that. yet. I love so, that. Yeah. Within the group, it's not to the whole Facebook world, but yeah, within that group. Right. In and, a group. And why yeah, not? So, yeah. So I just thought that was cool because, I mean, you can get, you know, obviously those people who, because some people do truly forget or, you know, it could have been, you know, oh gosh, now she called me out. Let me at least order a mascara. So at any right. rate, and you're she, either servicing she's not them messaging or you're them. yourselves. She'd not message them each privately and say, hey, you still want to place an order? We're going to, you know, so it's not that hardcore, but she's just tagging them. So they're going to get a notification. It, it closes tonight at midnight. And so, the, and you're right. They might be going, oh, they got it. I've got to hurry up, make my choices or, you know, I'm not going to order anything. And it's cool. So yeah, I'm, it's very well thought through, but still very simplistic in the whole concept. And it just, it just makes sense. Makes sense. I'm excited. Thanks, Sony. Anybody else have a thought, question, suggestion? Well, we have a we have a little extra gift for you that we will post tonight or tomorrow uh, in the morning. I'm probably just post it when we get done with this since I forgot to hit the recording. So, Susan, I'm okay. gonna have to snag your recording after you okay. load it. But um, we have a flip chart outline for this party, and then we have another one out outline. It's the same outlines, just two different people, I think. Right, Susan? Isn't that what you kind of read? But I think I, it's basically both of them were good. it's Jen Vesiker, but maybe uh, the hostess credit is a little different. But read through them. I've read them both. Very, very similar. Plus, you're going to make your own little tweaks on it to make it you. But the work's basically been done for you. The script is right there <laughs> in this little flip chart. So. Uh, I think it'll be good for you to have it, especially if you've not watched the video yet, have it close by, print it off and make your little notes and highlight and just enjoy and see how you might implement something like this. Who would be your very first hostess um, for virtual play? Oh, she also says, let me just finish this. Um, Cause Katrina Harris was like, how'd you get started? She goes, basically her script to get started was I'm taking my business virtual. You know, she'd call them. She goes, remember the phone, how we used to call people? She goes, she would call them and say, I'm taking it virtual. I'm kind of nervous and I'm not, not real confident in this yet, but I need your help. She goes, these are people in your amen corner. And if it's your sister, you're like, you're my sister and you're having a party. And sister's, no, I'm not sure. She says, yes, you are. And here's what we're going to do. And I'm going to do all the work and we're going to get it. So I need your list. So you have people in your life that you don't call them with a booking script. You just call them and you say, Girl, I need your help. I'm, I'm going to stop. And I, I, knew you'd, I knew you'd be willing to help me. Here's what we're going to do. And there's tons of free stuff in it for you. So you all have those people in your amen corner that you could start with. And so anyway, it, I think it's going to be a real game changer. Because I got to tell you what, I don't care if I ever load my stuff up in my car again and go to a full-blown six to eight person party. I mean, I have my, my spa and stuff set up here in my home. They'll come here. And I'm not saying we should never do that, but I don't think that's going to be the majority of the way we work anymore. I may no. be wrong. I, it'll, it'll be a little gravy, but I think the virtual is here to stay and can really be a blessing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thanks for being on with you guys. I uh, have a huge finish to the month. I uh, know that you're still selling and sharing all the way through to midnight tomorrow night and who's already earned their uh jewelry for the month of march your spark a chain reaction me okay anybody else i know denise oh has. wyatt has wyatt's earned very good earrings. nora all right susan all right very good well keep keep on the time on you guys happy march and let's make april just audacious with some of these virtual parties what do you say i'm in happy How easter a little early so yep hop on it right bye y'all <laughs> bye good night everybody